Hi, Gemini. Welcome to, hello, change, <laughs> change is coming for you. That's a page of cups. Uh, changes coming for you. Now, whether you're the agent of that change, like you're making decisions and you're changing things, or if um, you're just having something kind of fly in and happen um, that you thought was a ways off or that you just weren't planning on, it's different. So whether changes are happening to you or you're making changes, we shall see. All right. Hello, Gemini. Uh, everything else you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with theirs or your moon rising or Venus. All right. King, king, queen of wands. That could be Aries. The world. Two of, look at the world and then there's a world there. Two of wands. Closer. Page of Wands. Empress with a wand. Interesting. With a wand. Two wands. Isn't that funny? Two of wands and then there's two wands right here. Huh. And Queen of Cups. So this could be Taurus, Libra, or Aries. This could be uh, Cancerian. All right. So I'm, I'm hoping the sound looks like the sound's okay. Yeah, I don't have the fan on. All right. Okay. All right, Gemini, what is going on? It's just Gemini. You're trying to figure out what to do, what your next move is right now with the way things are. What's this world card about for Gemini? All right. Ten of Cups. Okay, what's this Two of Wands? Gemini. Oopsie. That was going to jump. That's the star card. I feel like this is crooked. And then it's the light is just glaring on it and there's no getting around that. All right. What's this two of wands for Gemini? Is this about you deciding? Okay, so is this about you debating whether you can be happy or not in your present situation and wanting to make changes but just unsure of how to go about making those changes not sure of what to actually do to make changes it's not about that you're indecisive it's that you um don't know what you can do about your situation perhaps what's this page of wands what's this page of wands for gemini King of Wands. So we've got Queen of Wands, King of Wands. I read that as Sagittarius. So we just need the Knight of Wands to show up. <laughs> let's, see, let's see, what's this Empress about for Gemini? What's this Empress about? Three of Swords. All right, so we've got the Queen, we've got the Empress. Three swords, two queens, friendship. What's this queen of cups about? Knight of swords. All right, this feels like you're not sure what's going to happen. Because if you're not sure what's going to happen, you're not sure what you can do. Um, this is about things changing and you being able to move forward with something you wanted to do. And you're finally able to kind of pursue what you want. But the way things are right now, it's almost like you don't know how or what you can do or what you want to do. But whatever, um, there's this feels external. It feels like because of a decision somebody else makes, you finally get to do what you want to do. Um, is this about an ending that you need to grieve so that you can heal and move on and do your own thing? It feels like you, you feel like you can't make um, a decision or that you're kind of not able to do what you want to do because you're, it's almost like you're waiting for someone else to make a decision about you 
or that affects you. Okay, so this is about, huh. And then here we are, have you being liberated to go after what you want. So it, it almost feels like you're not going to get the answer that you want or get the answer, period. Um, and you're tired of waiting, so you're like, you know what, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm going to go do what I want. So here's the thing. If you're waiting for an answer for someone, you're either not going to get it or you're not going to get the answer that you want, and you need to accept that um, and maybe accept that this was... This is about acceptance and forgiveness and, more importantly, forgiving yourself for kind of sticking around too long. Um but I, th I think this is about you taking matters into your own hands because you're not either going to get the decision that you want or someone's taking too long to make a decision on your behalf. And so for that case, you're like, I'm not waiting around. I'm going rogue. This could be Aquarius, Cancerian, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra, Sagittarius, um, and Aries. And yeah. So where you were once held back, it looks like you're not waiting anymore. So... the change that could be coming with someone's decision um, turns out to be you making the decision for yourself because you're not waiting around anymore. And what maybe, you know, has the potential to be a really good thing is kind of ruined because somebody won't make a decision. Someone will make a decision. Someone might still be dealing with an ending and they're not going to make a decision. So you're like, okay, I would really like to go, but you're giving me very little to go on here. And it's about accepting that and going rogue and going after what you want and where you feel connected. Um, and if honestly, it feels like this could be someone coming in unexpectedly so that you have much more of an emotional fit with. And this person lost out because they couldn't make a decision. They couldn't. I don't think this is about you accepting someone's decision. I think that they couldn't make a decision. Okay, so I don't need those after all. All right. What is this about actually? What else? What is this about for Gemini? What is this really about for Gemini? Knight of Pentacles. All right. So, you know, it could be something if someone would just kind of get a move on and um, quit holding that onto that coin and be willing to share it or give up a little bit of control and progress. But nope. What else for Gemini? I read that as Taurus. What else for Gemini? six of swords yeah nothing's changing so you're like yeah i'm gonna go i'm just i gotta go because you're not gonna make a decision you're not uh, you're not allowing this to happen someone's kind of staying stuck or wanting to stay stuck um to hold on to power and control in the situation and then not allowing things to progress and instead of you being held back and held captive by that you're like nope i'm breaking free and going to go find my fit and, and return to that which i feel nourished and cared for what makes my heart sing um, and it doesn't mean that you go back to somebody like that. It means that you are open to that or that you're, I don't think it's that you're in pursuit. I think that you're open to that. I feel like someone's coming in. Could be that you're in pursuit, but I, I feel like you're not going to be tearing out of there right away. You've got some processing to do first. I feel like this is someone coming in and it's probably a friend or it's someone that you already have an emotional basis with. So don't be surprised if you've got someone that um, when you break free from someone who can't make a decision, here comes a friend going, well, hey, now that you've decided, <laughs> just saying. So you're making changes because someone won't make a decision and you've also got someone incoming that is um, it's going to show some interest. So that's another change. All right. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? The death card. This very well could be about a long overdue ending here. An ending that is overdue. Taking a while to accept to get to this point. There's some grieving. There's some like, dang it. But that's okay. You take it in stride and it doesn't slow you down. It's it's because I feel like you've been tempered to it. You've known for a while. It's a process. It's just, it's the final, final, and it looks like you end up having to make the decision. That's four, Gemini. 
Oh, gracious. That one jumped. The Siren. A temptation may lead you astray. Mm, okay. That could be what this is, is that you find out of the blue, you find somebody you feel emotionally connected to and you know, you, you kind of, maybe this is you end up straying from this relationship you were waiting around for on a decision. You're like, well, I guess that decided it for me. Um, because if, you know, I was waiting forever for a decision from him and then this came along and I went for it, I guess there's my answer for myself. Could be that. Now I, I Pick that one because it, when well, it pick it, it, it fell out. So I'm going to pick one here. Okay, that well, was rude. What else for Gemini? Okay. The chalice, rejuvenation and fulfillment. Yes, which feels like this is, that's what this is about. Like all of a sudden a, a, another option comes in and you're like, it, it probably helps mitigate a lot of the heartache, um, a lot of the disappointment and then like well shoot i mean it's probably um kind of fills your cup up a little nicely there kind of neutralizes a lot of negative feelings you might be it helps you with forgiveness it helps you with accepting the situation and then this one all right this one kind of flew across <laughs> the spirit unseen forces watch over you there's a surprise element here that you find surprisingly uh nurturing um a surprise connection this could be that friend out of the blue that you're like oh my gosh that you look at in a different way but something comes along while you're distracted over here something comes along to kind of snap your attention and it's a good fit and it helps with the healing process because I don't you don't want to be stuck I mean you're wanting to get this show on the road but you can't because somebody just can't make a decision they can't move past an issue they can't let go of something what's done is done or it's a whole uh, you know it's some kind of situation that they just can't they can't let go of or they they can't decide you know, for Gemini. treasure so this speaks to memories and cherishing loved ones and cherishing memories but it does not obligate you to stay there. This is a treasurable experience. Um, it taught you a lot. There was potential. You believed in it. But it could very well be that your new treasure or something else just as valuable just showed up. And you would do well to be open to that. Just saying. What else for Gemini? All right, the Hierophant, Hierophant, that's Taurus. And this is Seven of Cups reversed. All right, you have no illusions about, um, you know, and this might not have been a conventional relationship in the sense that, you know, I mean, anymore, what does that mean, right? But th it might not have been the most stable, predictable, reliable, trustworthy connection, but there was always that something there, but it just wasn't foundational enough for you to build on, stick around, stay. Um, and your eyes are open now. Your eyes are open. And, and maybe you see it as codependent. But um, you want more. And here it comes. <laughs> so you didn't have to wait long. <laughs> if this isn't about someone coming in, it's about you taking charge of your own healing and not um, falling apart. Basically, you're going to go rogue and go find it. And you're in hot pursuit of what you want. This is not slowing you down. This this whole slow waning death thing of it it's not going to slow you down eyes are open you're not disillusioned and this is about being decisive on your own behalf all right i hope this was helpful gemini i hope to see you in the next reading and i thank you for stopping by much love to you all right you take care